Well, Senator Shehu Sani joins us right now. He is the Chairman Senate Committee on Local and International Debts and also Vice Chairman Senate Committee on Foreign Affairs. Senator, you're welcome to Sunrise Daily. Thank you very much. Well, quite a number of things have been said. You have been pretty vocal on this uh, farmers and herdsmen crisis and you think that the President has not been as upstanding as he ought to be. Uh, thank you again. Uh, first and foremost, the president is the commander-in-chief, and he's one whose the book ends on his table. And we are be faced with a serious crisis, a national tragedy and a national emergency, one in which hundreds of lives have been lost in different parts of the country. And it is very clear to us that if this issue is not contained, curtailed, or uh, put a stop to, uh, we will, it will catapult or expand into a national crisis. And I believe that um, if there is any person whose attention is very much needed now, is the president. And the political class, particularly those in the ruling establishment, have a duty to emphasize and support and advise him in every possible way to see how we can bring this to an end. But I have seen this crisis being looked at from a different perspective. Some are seeing it from a sectional, religious, or ethnic perspective, and that colored the problem. So my position is the fact that uh, the federal government has a duty to work with the state governments uh, to see this is solved. But my very concern is when I see the people in the political class uh, emphasizing more on other issues. We are in 2018, and it's very clear to us that what is in the mind, the focus and attention and priority of the political class is the 2019 general elections, and people are dying. So my call is the president to put a stop to a ritual I've seen going on uh, governors leaving their duty post, coming to the villa every day, endorsing and endorsing the president. And the states are burning. So it's like we have Franco Nero, who was playing fiddle while Rome was on fire. These mm. ones are in the business of, of endorsement while the country is burning. So my position is that the president is the person who should lead the campaign to end this problem. Two days ago, uh, Stalwarts of Benue, uh, you know, were in the villa to talk to the president about what has been happening in India State, and you were not quite happy uh, about that, about that meeting that happened in the villa. Why is that? Well, um, first and foremost, I believe in our African tradition. When you are bereaved, it is people that visit you. <laughs> you don't go visiting people. And uh, what I said about the Benway elders is that they need to stay at home. And the villa should go to Benway and not Benway coming to the villa. In the very sense that um, it has been the case all over. And I have seen that when we have a crisis in all parts of the country, it is symbolic to see the leadership in the country moving to that very spotlight. And giving people there some form of hope, confidence, an assurance that we're doing something. So when your people are killed and then you are coming to Abuja, are you coming to report that they were killed or you are coming for portrait opportunity? I don't know why they're here. So my position is that um, there is still the need for a special delegation if the president cannot make it to go to Penwi and commiserate, identify with the people and see how this problem can come to an end. You have seen quite a number of solutions uh, being proposed. We've heard from the presidency, cattle colonies being proposed in some of the states in Taraba and Benue. We've seen uh, farmer, beg your pardon, the anti-grazing law, I mean ranching being proposed as a solution to the crisis. But it would seem that you know, that is also being greeted with some resistance. What do you think is the missing link in terms of the solutions that have been proposed and implementation? Well, um, there are th 
two to three dimensions to this. There are some persons who believe that issue of colonies or ranches should be a private affair. There are those who think that it should be uh, the responsibility of states. There are those who felt that it should be the responsibility of the federal government. But I believe the states that have Ministry of Agriculture should be able to establish ranches or colonies or whatever or estates for cattle in their own and then the federal government can look at the possibility of supporting them for the federal government to now say they are establishing ranches in all parts of the country that is going to be a serious equivalent tax and uh, going by the fact that uh, 40 years after, the Federal Ministry of, uh, of Agriculture is still on a temporary site here in, in Abuja. And um, there, there are a lot of facilities for agriculture, which I believe uh, the federal government can support the states. What stops states that believe in cattle ranches, uh, setting up cattle ranches, first of all, and asking the federal government to support them? But I don't think that is the responsibility of the federal government.